Hello and welcome to Enoshade's first Game Maker tutorial. I've been working with Game Maker for about a year and a half, almost two years. Whoops, gonna make a new game here. And I have over this time become fairly experienced with the program. And it is my goal to teach you to at least become as good, maybe better, than as I am. And so we're gonna start with the basics. Up here along this panel is basically everything you're ever going to use. Now you may notice that my game maker looks a little bit different than yours. And that's because I've turned on advanced mode right here. It allows you to create stuff like scripts, text, timelines, different more things than you are able to in the unadvanced version. That sounded weird. Well, so up here is the main panel. This is what you're going to be using a lot. And this is a sprite. This is how you create sprites, and this is like uh, what your object that you create with this sprite will look like. This is a sound. I hope you know what that is. This is a background. Hope you know what that is. This is a path. Objects you can make objects follow paths, and this is just like this predetermined directions, speeds. It's it's really useful in some occasions. Um, and then there's scripts where there's just a, an external script that can be called by any object that we're not going to be using that for a while. There's fonts, uh, timelines, timelines. Those are like uh, they have a constant counter in the background, and when it reaches a certain time, something happens. It's it's basically exactly what a timeline really is. And then there's an object and a room. We're going to be focusing on sprites, objects, and rooms this tutorial. So start by making a new sprite. You should see this little menu open up over here, and there should be a window that pops up near the top left corner of your uh, Game Maker empty window space here. And then you go and you type in circle. That is now the name of our sprite, and you click Edit Sprite. And now you see this wonderful little window pop up in the middle called Sprite Editor. And now you see just this image zero. You can't change the name of that. That's fine. You will never see that. That's just the index of the current frame of the sprite. You can make animated sprites with Game Maker's Sprite Editor. So just double click on that. And then, basically, like a, if you've ever used Microsoft Paint, this is almost exactly the same. Zoom in a little bit with the plus. And then draw a circle. Click this. Go down here to the uh, lined and filled. And then see how there's this is going to be the color of the line, and this is going to be the color of the fill of the circle. We're going to want to change that to blue. So right click on the blue, and then click with the left mouse button up in that corner, and just drag, just press shift and drag the bottom corner here until the little uh, lines touch the sides of the image editor window. And once you've done that, you've created your little circle. This is going to be our character so to speak for our game. You press this check button up here to save changes. You can see your uh, preview. It cuts out all the um, pixels with the color of the bottom left corner right there. Every, any pixel with that color will be cut out and you will never see it and it will not be involved in the collision of the object unless you uncheck precise collision checking. And then what you do is you press the center button so that it centers zero zero coordinates in the center of the sprite. Press OK. Click Create an Object and name it Circle. Now some people like to put pre post fixes on their like either object names or sprite names or both. I usually will go up and do this Circle SPR to sig signify that as a sprite because when I use my code sometimes if your sprite and your object are the same name and you're wanting to call a new sprite for an object you'll accidentally call the object and it will look all weird and error out on you so try to keep that problem out you won't see that problem when you're doing drag and drop which is what I'm going to show you how to do this tutorial so you click this little sprite thingy here you click this drop down menu button and click circle sprite woohoo now your object has a sprite and it won't do anything for now, but create, click create a room. Now this is the only part of Game Maker that ever gets GUI-ish, even the least. So you look over here and it shows you the preview of the object you're about to place. 
if you want to change that you can go down here and click this of course we only have one object so we only have one choice and then you left click and you can just move it somewhere around in this grid and then you just let go and your object is there you press the play button and it will play just fine just nothing will happen now we it now it's time to code our object um, to start we're gonna try to do a little guy that can just run around in a maze I assume like a maze sort of thing and uh, so you're gonna press add event and keyboard left add event keyboard right add event keyboard up add event keyboard down now you have the checking every step for the keyboard keys the little arrow keys so for left you're gonna wanna press this button move fixed click the left arrow and the speed of four now five five's good now you're just gonna control C to copy paste 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 now you're gonna want to change this this is up so you click up uncheck the other arrow and press OK this is right, so you're going to want to click right, uncheck left, press OK. This is down, so you're going to press down, uncheck the left, and press OK. And now, if we were to play it, you would see that the object would go and keep going. It won't stop. It doesn't stop. That's a slight problem. To fix that, took me a while to find out, go add event, create, and then over here, set friction. Click, drag, friction to 1. Press OK. Press play. Move. Your guy stops. This is basically the format that you're going to want to use for a maze game or an avoid the ghost game or whatever you're going to do. And that is about all there is to the basics of Game Maker. It was good making the tutorial. Bye.